today we are out with the Yama Micro Max uh, 380. Cute little if thing. If I had to change um, we've got one thing about this. Today we are out with the Yama Micro Max uh, 380, cute little thing. Um, we've got 14 different loads that we're going to run through at different size, different uh, bullet weight, casings, you name it. We're going to try it, see how it works through this little thing, and uh, see if it might be a fun option for you. Since we have so many different loads of ammunition to test today, we're going to start off with our full metal jacket. This is Blazer 95 grain aluminum casing, three rounds. Cycle just fine. Next up we have the PPU 94 grain brass casing. Ran just Next fine. up we have Wolf Poly Performance uh, 94 grain steel case. Next up, we've got SMB 92 grain brass casing. Oh. Didn't fully eject that. No. Next up, Toll Ammo uh, 91 grain. We're slowly dropping our weight there. Steel cased ammo. What he said. What did we get? It, well, it just was a failure to feed. Is it in now? It's in now. There's no primer strike, so. Looks like the slide's not all the way forward. All right, we got chambered again, <laughs> and let's finish off this 91 grain steel. Case. All right, worked just fine except for one feeding. All right, contract. so next up is RMP. Uh, it's a copper polymer, 60 grain. Really lightweight. Oh, I should probably eject the last mag I had in there. Works though. So, in looking at our non full metal jacket. We've got a variety of hollow points and a TMJ. We'll be starting off with Remington Ultimate Defense. Which is 102 grain and can you show us the bullet real quick? Looks a lot like the old Remington Golden Saber. Didn't quite catch that. Looks a lot like the old Remington Golden Saber. Any change in feel? It's a little pushier. Next up we have 95 grain Lawman truncated jacket. Casing, whatever. Jacket. Bam. Alright, next up we have the uh, PMC Starfire. It's a 95 grain hollow point. You, um, this is a 94 grain. These have a really stubby head to them. Did not lock back. So we have the Hornady Critical Defense and a 90 grain hollow point. Looks good. All right, next up we have Colt Solid Copper Hollow Point and 80 grain. Sweet. Next up we have the Ruger ARX 56 grain. Yeah, stinky. And there we have it folks, we've gone from 102 grain to 56 grain, full metal jacket, truncated metal jacket, hollow points, 
steel case, brass case, aluminum case, I think we can call the Yama Micromax an omnivore. Poof! We're back. Uh, so we ran out of time last time that we were out to the range uh, to finish our review on the uh, Yama 380 uh, Micromax, and we are back. So we're going to finish up with uh, a little bit of ammo testing, see if it runs on this. Now this is 50 grain by Liberty Ammunition Civil Defense, which is about half of the heaviest load that we tested in it last time. So uh, let's see what we get, and we'll go from there. Well, it ran and it locked back. All right, now five shots at seven yards using Hornady's critical defense. All right, so we have the Micromax by Yama uh, out at the range today, and this thing is just cute. It's super easy to shoot. Everything about it is comfortable. Uh, we've tried a million different loads through it, and nothing was um, obnoxious or didn't run through it. That's the awesome part. So you got this real sweet looking little 1911. Um, lots of great features, including the grip safety here. Um, as you can see, it's empty. I'll take out that mag. But everything is within reach. It's kind of what I love about these smaller guns is that it doesn't matter the size of your hand because you're going to get be able to get to everything. So I could drop the mag, uh, which I'll show you. Like, super easy, drop the mag. Obviously, trigger pull is really easy. Um, slide release, super easy. Uh, you got this great, great sights on there as well. So you can really get behind, see your target, and because of it's got a little weight to it, you're not going to have to worry about, not that 380 has any recoil really, but it makes it just that much easier to shoot. So um, this one is a keeper in my books, uh, which I don't say very often, but definitely definitely have some fun with this one. Okay. All right, so the Micromax reminds me a bit of Another gun that we tested in the past, that gun, however, didn't work out so well for us. This gun works. As you saw in the ammo test, from 50 grain all the way up to 102 grain, worked just fine. Super slim and thin. In fact, if anything, you'd think it'd be too small for banana hands like mine. But thanks to this little grip extension on the magazine base plate, my hand just fits just fine. You've got that nice, crisp 1911-esque trigger. Of single action only, full 1911 controls, uh, just a, a smooth and easy handling gun with fiber optic front sight that picks up easily. If I had to change one thing about this gun, I don't think I'd change a thing. <laughs> 